You know when you go to a restaurant and they put a hot, beautiful loaf of bread out for the table? Well, this is the type of bread we're going to make today. It is so simple, so delicious. I know you all will enjoy this. So thanks for watching, and uh, let's see what it takes to make this. Here's the ingredients. Flour, water, yeast, and salt. That's it, folks. That, that is all that we're going to put into this. First, we're going to start off with a cup of water. The uh, recipe takes a cup and a half of water. So three cups of flour, one and a half cups of water, a package of yeast, and a tablespoon of salt. So we've got our hot water, not hot, but very warm water in, in the mixer. And go ahead and throw your yeast in, give that a little spin, and uh, wait a few minutes and let that, quote, bloom. So basically you're just letting the yeast get activated. Now go ahead and throw in a tablespoon of your favorite salt. I'm using kosher salt. And then we start to add our flour. I'm using good old fashioned all purpose flour, but you can certainly use bread flour here. Bread flour has a higher um, protein content and that would certainly be appropriate here, but Hey, I don't have any bread flour. I have all purpose flour, so that's what we're gonna use. So I was wondering how long has bread been around and I had to look this up. Apparently we have records dating back 8,000 BC to 8,000 BC in the Middle East, specifically Egypt, that's uh, 10,000 years ago. I didn't think Egypt was that old. So, um, and there are some records of a coarse grain uh, grains coarsely ground up mixed with water and of course wild yeast probably didn't know about the wild yeast back then as far as 12,000 years ago written history I don't know I have to look that up but 12,000 years that is a seriously long time for humans to be making bread so once you got all your ingredients in there go ahead and mix this up for a little bit and after it mixes a bit, go ahead and uh, turn this up to a two, uh, maybe even a three, I don't know. But uh, we're going to mix this and let it rise four different times. So mix it for a few minutes, then we're going to wrap it up in some plastic wrap, let it rise for a 45 minutes or an hour, it doesn't have to be specific here, um, and repeat four different cycles. I'm not going to video. Uh, the four different cycles because that would be pretty boring of showing the same thing four different times. Let's take a moment to uh, remember the inventor of the Mechanical Reaper Cypress McCormick. He invented that in 1834 and the best way I've ever heard it put in a time where people were starving. This is literally written on his gravestone. He made bread cheap, quote, he made bread cheap. And in time that people were starving, that is a pretty big accomplishment. So there's your history lesson for today. Next, we're going to spread out some flour on some parchment paper. If you saw that little hand sticking out, that is our favorite helper, little Action Jackson. So um, he is always in the kitchen helping me out. He's usually right out off of a... Uh, off of the camera, but I assure you in most of the videos I'm shooting, he's on a little step stool, either helping or watching. And well, the kid just loves to cook and it cracks me up right here. You can see him in the reflection of the bowl there. Isn't he adorable folks? So this is, this is a wet dough. So uh, scoop it out the best you can. I don't think you'll ever get every little single drop of it, but that's all right. I gotta be honest, this is a lot wetter dough than I had anticipated, but we're gonna add some flour on top and work it around. Now this is very important. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 400 degrees and put your um, uh, Dutch oven in it. We're gonna bake this in our Dutch oven. That seals up the dough and the moisture mimics professional baking ovens. Uh, the best that we can, better than just anything um, that we could in in our con oven, conventional convection oven. Um, some recipes I've seen with home bakers, they'll actually put ice cubes 
in their oven to uh, make some steam. Well, the, the Dutch oven captures all that, but we need it hot. So 400 degrees, go ahead and stick your Dutch oven in there, get it nice and hot and ready. And good luck playing with this dough. Um, well, I say good luck. It, it basically felt like loose Play-Doh, and I have to admit, I kind of had fun uh, with this playing with it. Wasn't the easiest to uh, get this into a workable ball. Kept needing it, uh, kept having to uh, add a little bit of flour, but it worked out in the end. Now that's starting to look like something reasonable. So we want to take a knife and just uh, put a couple of scores in there that lets the steam, I'm told it lets the steam evaporate evenly, let it uh, rise evenly. Honestly, I really don't know, but um, every instruction says to do that, so why not? Now, we take out your air, very hot, 400 degrees Dutch oven. If you like that glove, I've had that for over 20 years, bought it at a Williamson Noma at least 20 years ago, still works and put your bread in, parchment paper and all, cover it up, throw it in the oven for 30 minutes. Now this is gonna be hard folks. Take it out of your oven 30 minutes later, but do not eat it. It is going to smell incredible, but do not eat this, it's not ready. But it is pretty, so take a look at that. It's getting nice and crusty, but Put it back in your oven, uncovered, for another 15 minutes. All right, we're going to take it out of the oven. We've got our cooling rack there handy. That is absolutely beautiful. The crust is golden brown and delicious. It, the air is just filled with the aroma of fresh baked bread. It is so good. So, uh, yes, that's hot. Uh, probably shouldn't be touching that with my bare hands, but whatever. And... Yep, that's hot. So take the parchment paper off, let it set on the cooling rack. Probably shouldn't be on the oven since the oven's still hot, but whatever. Let it rest for about 15 minutes or so, and now we get to cut it up. Now this is not a sandwich bread, so uh, this is not something you slice up and make sandwiches with. It's more of what, uh, say, an Italian restaurant would put bread at the table for the group and just the type that you would tear apart with your hands, dip it in some, some olive oil and uh, eat it like that. So we're just gonna mix up some olive oil and some Parmesan cheese here. And that is absolutely delicious. I wish you guys could smell this. Um, I hope you guys make this because it's really Easy. I had. Uh, I'm by no means experienced at baking bread, but I had no problems creating this, and it's every bit as good as you would get at, say, a Carabas or something of, of that nature. But uh, put a little salt in that olive oil and parm, and uh, that just takes the flavor over the top. So glad you guys have uh, watched. If you haven't, please like and subscribe, and uh, give this one a try. I think you'll really enjoy it.